A warm hello from everyone on the Hall YFC team down here in the boulevards. I, I realize it's been a difficult and unsettling time for everyone, but we wanted to share a little bit about uh, how our community and how the Breakfast Club in particular have been affected. What's it been like for you in lockdown, Ian? In lockdown for me, it was rather interesting because I had to help my son because his mom's a carer. He was over here most of the time. And after the first few weeks or so, he started to get really, really bored. Not a lot to do. Not much. Uh, not got much space to play anyway. And my flat's really small anyway. Um, it was very hard with three children, very hard not seeing members of our community and our friends and family and the challenges that homeschooling brought was tricky. Um, so yeah, we found it really hard isolating from everybody, but also we enjoyed the quality time that we was able to spend with each other as a family. So it had its good points but mostly bad points. <laughs> it's been hard to do homeschooling my children because when we've been dyslexic and um, my, old, my older kids know a bit more than me so they've been helping and it's been quite hard saying that everything's been online now and I've not had much of computer through all the children so it was really grateful that Emma and Rich actually gave us a laptop for my little girl to actually do her school work on it. But all of us really missed Breakfast Club, even when the school reopened and he was going to school Breakfast Club, he, he still wanted to come to the proper Breakfast Club as he called it. But no, nah, he's been really rubbish without it. My other two children love Breakfast Club, seeing all the friends, love seeing all the friends from school who a lot, you know, go to Breakfast Club. So we've really missed just that community feel and well, just talking to other adults for me as well, because my husband works long hours, so I don't really see many other people. So it's a real lifeline. And especially our baby group on a Thursday, <laughs> we're really missing that. <laughs> so yeah, it's been tricky. We as a family as have missed YFC because they are a other part of our family. We're all always doing stuff with them. I volunteer at a youth club and I take the children with me. And it's just nice to have seeing all the kids get together and having such fun. And when it's been locked down, they've missed all the friends what they can't see through lockdown. Um, Breakfast Club restarted this week. Uh, what does that mean for you and for, for Oliver? Well, for Oliver, because Oliver's got autism, his routine's really important and going to Breakfast Club was part of his routine. And not going there for six months really plagued on him because no routine anymore, so he got really bored really quickly. Uh, really nice to be back. It was our first day back today and it was really lovely. Kids loved being back. Um, <laughs> It was really nice and calm, everything like went smoothly, it was a nice relaxing atmosphere compared to my usual breakfast time at home. It seems a bit crazy, so it was really nice just seeing people we haven't seen for like six months, some people we haven't even seen, like Bev and things. So yeah, it was really nice just getting back to a little bit of normality, even though it's the new normal, but <laughs> really nice. When lockdown started in March, it meant that our community here on the boulevard couldn't continue to meet together. This didn't stop us from sharing experiences and support during this time. The blessing of the incarnational approach that we take to ministry meant that we were locked down with the community that we love and care for. And so we were able to find creative ways to continue to be God's hands and feet here during this time. We shopped for our neighbours who didn't have cars, entertained bored kids with activity packs, encouraged and reassured isolated parents, helped out with access to technology, pumped up pram tires, collected prescriptions, and thanks to the Mother's Union, enabled two families to have a much needed break at the seaside. In an effort to provide some normality amidst all the uncertainty, we marked the end of each term with cook breakfasts at home, with each family receiving ingredients to cook and enjoy in their houses. We also celebrated Easter through packs delivered to each family. The message of holding on to hope in the darkness and the promise of the resurrection to come felt particularly relevant at this time. On behalf of all of us at Hull YFC and the local communities, we want to say a huge thank you to you and the church for all your donations of cereal and juice. This means we can keep supporting families during difficult times and share the gospel where it's needed most.